Online or on your phone, a huge gator just walking down the street stopped Lakeview residents in their tracks this morning. Sadly, it was so big, as Paul Murphy reports, it had to be captured and euthanized. People were just waking up in the Lakeview neighborhood when someone spotted this guy walking down Orleans Avenue near Harrison Avenue. It's a big old, big old boy. I'd say like 12 feet at least. Someone texted it to me and I got my bike and I came over and rode over to see it. Somehow the alligator found itself on the wrong side of the seawall along a canal in nearby City Park. Neighbors say it may have gotten into the neighborhood through an open gate in the fence that surrounds a sewage and water board pumping station. The gator walked about five blocks down Orleans before it was noticed. Richard Schaefer jogs by this area every morning. Interesting, yeah, I have to make sure I watch where I'm jogging up in these weeds, but uh, otherwise, yeah, just a way of life in Louisiana, I guess. Alligators are all around us in South Louisiana. We actually have the highest population of alligators of any state. Um, so yeah, we're, we're right in prime alligator habitat, and so we live all of our lives right next to them as neighbors. Erin Bogart is the Louisiana swamp keeper at the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans. She says we are in an active season for alligators. When it's colder, they pretty much hibernate. And in about March, April is their breeding season. So they start mating behavior. And then in June, July, they start nesting. Even longtime wildlife trapper John Schmidt was impressed by the size of the gator. He says it may have been heading towards Lake Pontchartrain, less than a mile away. It's probably tired of being in that canal. You know, it could have been kicked off from a rain. It, it smelled the rain out in the lake. Something was going on. Maybe it's uh, a big, probably a big male. Maybe he's searching for a girlfriend. The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries decided to kill the animal. A spokesman said it was too large to relocate. Experts say alligators are normally solitary creatures, which means we won't likely see another one walking through Lakeview anytime soon. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Well, former state Senator Norby Shawbear from uh, Homa is now asking the head of wildlife and fisheries to investigate why the Lakeview gator was euthanized. He said on Twitter, you know I respect our agents, and as a lifelong gator man, you know they could have transported that animal without use of deadly force. We'll follow that story.